Hey, what's up everybody? Batjack JW here uh, in another video and we're talking about a Colt Revolver. You probably uh, noticed there on the on the title of the video and everything. Um, I actually got a request uh, from one of the subscribers here and uh, this one's actually for Joe and he said, hey Batjack, Where's all those Colt revolvers? Did they make the move? Uh, <laughs> getting a little worried. We haven't seen them. And I started to think about that. I went through my uh, my video playlist, which there's quite a few videos. And that's the thing I want to, to bring out there. I get a lot of messages every day. And a lot of them was like, hey, our bad check, are you going to do a video on this? And actually, if you look, I've done videos on them, many, many videos. There's just so many of them out there. In fact, I surprise myself a lot of times. Uh, and some of them actually are uh, strictly only available on Patreon because of certain reasons and whatnot. We won't talk about that. But they're there for free, absolutely free. You can watch them. But today we're going to be talking about the Colt Diamondback Revolver. This is my favorite Colt Revolver. Uh, I'm, well, you know what? I'll have to make a follow-up to this, and that's going to be on my second channel, uh, Batchack JW Radio Show. So you have to watch some other stuff there, and more in-depth uh, my opinion on this. But Anyway, we're talking about the Colt Diamondback Revolver. This one's a four inch configuration, 38 special. And what is it that it drew me to this gun? Really, the movie Brannigan with John Wayne. I've actually made several videos, it seems like, about this. <laughs> and uh, the Diamondback is definitely my favorite uh, revolver here, for sure. As far as the Colt line goes, the, uh, this, the, the Diamondback definitely has a special place for me. It's got all the looks and features of what, right? The one that always steals the show as far as when you talk about Colt revolvers other than the granddaddy Peacemaker or anything like that. But it's the Python. The Python steals the show really and it's got all the weight around its belt and it carries the title. But you know what? For me, I like the Py uh, the uh, see, see how, how it, it's got that contagious feeling. It, it, it really permeates everything but for me it's the diamondback uh, all joking aside i've always liked the diamondback ever since the movie and when i actually uh finally got my hands on one and, and got it in my possession and got to uh, shoot it and fondle it and have it and i really actually started to say you know what i like this gun a lot better than the python i really do you know it may not have the action that the python does but it has all the aesthetics and everything, and it just has that look. And of course, I mean, come on, John Wayne's got one in Brannigan. Even though I, although I believe in the beginning of McHugh, which is John Wayne's other uh, police film, I think he does have a python in the beginning, and he might even have a short barrel one. I don't know, but we're talking about Brannigan because if you have not seen Brannigan, with just the opening sequence of that movie, you're gonna want one things <laughs> but no the um this is a known as the d frame for the uh, colt line we're, we're talking colt language not the smith and wesson language but uh oh dare we say that name those names when we're holding a colt revolver uh colt uh, really has that strong name to it that colt it, there's something about that right that when you do but uh, it's got the, it's a D frame, so it's otherwise the same size frame wise as the Detective Special, if you're familiar with that lineup. But this one, again, you know, like I said, it's got all that dressing on it that makes it just super cool. The full underlug, the ventilated ribs, uh, you know, the vent ribs, I guess they call it, uh, kind of like what you see on a, a nice shotgun. But yeah, you know, this is uh, Colt's introduction to really start dressing up their revolvers and stuff when they came out with these. The Python, the Diamondback, yeah, there's the, the Cobra, the King Cobra, all those uh, beautiful firearms. But uh, for me, the Diamondback really stands out. I love this gun. I bought this and just got had to have my hands on it. And so I got it for a pretty fair price. But anyway, I'll talk more in depth about that in my uh, in kind of maybe like a part two or a more in depth detail on it in my on it but I'll put that on my second channel but anyway I just kind of wanted to bring this one out to you on right here on the main channel Bat Jack JW the Colt Diamondback <laughs> so this one's for Joe thanks for watching guys
And of course, I uh, really could not end the video with a beautiful close-up look at this baby. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it would be nice if we could see that close-up. Well, here you go. And here's the other side of it and that beautiful writing on it. I don't think you'll be able to see it too well. Um, but uh, And those grips, I've always loved those grips. And there's something about those original grips and that beautiful medallion right there, the rampant pony and everything. And I'll go ahead and actually uh, flip the thing up for you so you can get the top view. I always like to hammer spur on it. Really looks nice and everything. But yeah. There it is. The Colt Diamondback.